from the Philippines. From 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 the Philippines. Hello, how are you, sir? I'm just I'm just eating my tea. I hope you don't don't mind. I'll I'll eat as I listen. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, what do you want to know about uh, one God teaching? Um, I said in my text, I'm looking at the incarnation. Is it possible to help me with the incarnation? I want to know who okay. was manifested in the flesh. Was it the Son of God who, who was man manifested? Could I finish my flesh. sentence? It was. Was it the Son of God who was manifested in the flesh, or was it God the Father who was manifested in the flesh? Thank you. Okay, that's good. Okay, um, in First Timothy three sixteen, the Bible said that God was manifest in the flesh. It doesn't as say. We all know. It doesn't say hmm? God the Father. It does not say God the Father. And modern Bibles simply say he appeared in a body. The King James is based on a textual variant from 800 BC, where an, um, mm -hmm. an where an a micron was incorrectly copied as a theta. So it it just okay. says he appeared yeah. in a body. But even the King James does not say God the Father was manifested in the flesh. My question is about the incarnation. Who was manifested in the flesh? Was it the Son of God, okay. or was it God the Father? Okay, that's a very good question. That's why I, I want to explain to you uh, uh, the entire incarnation of uh, the only one God. The Bible said that there is only one God. Okay, there is only one God. There is no two, three or four God in the Bible, but there is only one God. And this only one God is no other but the Father. So let me clarify, you don't believe that the Son is God. You believe the Son is a created being. David Bernard in his book, The Oneness of God, on page 104, mm -hmm. I think, says that there was a time when the Son of God did not exist. I could have got the page number wrong, because I'm quoting it from memory. Okay. But the oneness of God that by David K. Bernard, the head of the United Pentecostal Church. Are you United Pentecostal Church? I am not United Pentecostal Church. That's why I wanted to explain about the Son of God and, you know, um, the only one God. We are only talking about the only one God. There is only absolute one God. When we say one God, so it's a numerical God. So your it's one, or... yeah. So your one, I, I've got, I've got it. There's only one God. I, I believe that. Your one God is the Father. You do not believe in the deity of the Son. You believe the Son lacks divine attributes. You believe the Son is created. You do not believe the Son is God. Yes. Okay. Brother. Okay, brother. Is 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 well? Is that correct, or have I misunderstood? The Son of God was. This term was used to the one who was born by Mary. The flesh. Sorry, the flesh. What do you, you mean? Cannot, what, do you, said, what do you mean by the flesh? Sorry, you're you're not really having a dialogue with me. You're preaching at me, which I don't like. Could you have a dialogue with me? When you say the flesh, who or what is the yeah. flesh? Is the flesh the father? Is the flesh the Son? Is the flesh the Holy Spirit? Thank you. Yep. Okay, uh, the flesh was was talking about to the one who was born by Mary. It is the flesh. It is not the Father. The Bible said that the Father dwelt in the Son. Colossians chapter 19. You, you're, you're preaching at me. Could you dialogue with me? Could you explain no, no, no. what you I mean by father, me. what you mean by I, son? I want to explain, brother. Listen to me. The, the Bible said in Colossians chapter 1, verse 19, the Bible said that the father dwelt in him. No, that's verse 9. Not, no, you're, it's not verse 19, it's verse 9. Verse 19. It's one, not. It's 19. Colossians 2.9, not Colossians 2.19. You've got the verse wrong. Brother, Colossians chapter 1, verse 19. Colossians 1, verse you 19. You can read 
I thought you yes. said. I beg your pardon. Okay, it's my mistake. I thought you. Yeah. In Colossians chapter nine, the Bible said that the fullness, the fullness of the Godhead, dwell it in Him, in Him to the Son, bodily. Okay. So, are you saying that the Son is not the Father? The Son is refers to the body, the flesh. Right. Was born by Mary under the law. So it is not God. So you don't believe the Son is God. You've said that very clearly. You only believe the Father the is term, the deity. Yes, the term Son, Son of God, Son of Man, was refers to the flesh. It is not refers to the Father. But we need to understand that the Father dwelt to the Son. A Trinitarians uh, believe. Chapter... Trinitarians, you don't need to tell me there's one God. I believe that. I'm a Trinitarian. And you don't need to tell me okay. that the Father is in the Son because Trinitarians believe that. They believe the Father is in the Son, the Son is in the Father, Father's in the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is in the Father. It's called perichoresis. So we believe that. What, what concerns me. <coughs> What concerns me okay. is your denial uh, of the divinity of the Son of God. Like the Jehovah's Witnesses, like the Unitarians, like Iglesia ni Christu, like uh, Sun John Ji. Uh, you, I, could I could I please oh, finish yeah, my I, could I please finish my sentence? What you're saying yeah, yeah, is yeah, that yeah, the yeah. Father is the deity and the Son is something less than deity. You not you might not be saying the same as these groups, but it's similar. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, this is what we believe, that the deity is in the Son. The Godhead, the fullness of the Godhead is in the Son. But the Son, the Son, the term Son is refers to the flesh. So, is that refers to God? So you believe the Son is a created being, created in Mary's womb. That's what David Bernard says in The Oneness of God. The question is... To whom this word, the son, or the term son, was used. Definitely the term was used to the one who was born by Mary. It is the flesh. You can, the, God, was, God cannot be born because God is a spirit. I've got it. You believe the father is the deity and the son is created flesh. Yes. Right. How do you explain the fact the Son is eternal in the Bible? Okay. The Son was eternal because the Son... Okay, now in the Bible there is no eternal Son. That there is no term eternal Son. But we could say, we could say that the Son is eternal because the Son was... Um, the Bible said that uh, the Son was, I'm sorry, brother, I, because I'm almost uh, sleeping, brother. Because the yeah. Son, the Bible said that the the, uh, the, uh, the Lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. Okay? The Lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. Um, we could say that the Son was eternal, it's because He was we, he was with God. He was in the mind of God from the very from the beginning. Which he verse says that? He was not exist as a physical. Which verse says that? He was not that? exist as a physical being. Pardon. No verse says that. Okay, in the old in in the, in in, uh, in Revelation, I'm not in my book. In Revelation, the Bible said that. Uh, the Lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. That's talking about God's God's foreknowledge of his plan of redemption. Yes, yes. It's not talking... It's, yeah, it's, all it's doing is referring to yeah. God's, God's plan of salvation. Yeah. In John 17, 5, the Son mm -hmm. has a, as an existence together with the Father in eternity from before the creation. Um, in John 17, 1... Can you read that? John seventeen one. Jesus spoke these words, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, 
the hour has come. Glorify your son that your son may glorify you. So the speaker is the son and the speaker is addressing the father in prayer. Now, in John 17, 5, we read, And now, O Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory I had with you, with you is para, before the world was. Para means with, alongside. So the Son had a real existence together with the Father. He had glory with the Father. And remember that God's divine glory, um, he's never going to share that with another. I think that's um, Isaiah 42, 8. I am Yahweh, and that is my name, and my glory I will not give to another. Isaiah 42, 8. So the Son shares the divine yeah. glory of Yahweh in eternity together with the Father. So the Son has a real existence together with the Father, according to John 17, 5. Okay. But you're denying that. You're, you're, you're saying the sun came into existence 2,000 years ago in Mary's womb, you see. Okay, yeah, that's right. This is what uh, the Bible said. That is what the Bible said. It's because we have to remember that Jesus said that he is not speaking of no, himself. No, 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 I said sun. I said yes, son. The son and the son okay, okay, is sorry. says the son. Uh, listen to John okay, 17 listen, listen to John 17 5 the speaker's the son from verse 1 and the son says he's addressing the father who's somebody other than himself he says and now O father glorify me together with yourself glorify with me. the glory I had mm -hmm. with you that's para before the world was so the son had a real existence together with the father in eternity, we know it's in eternity because it's before the world was. That is right, brother. The son, we have to remember that the son, he speaks not of himself. Sometimes he speaks sometimes as a father. No, because no, the father no, is no. In, him. in John 17, 5, it is the son who's speaking. He's not speaking as the father. Listen to John 17, 1. Jesus spoke these words, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, so he's speaking to somebody other than himself. The hour has come. Glorify your son. That's the speaker that your son may glorify uh -huh. you. So the speaker is the son. Uh -huh. And in John 17, 5, the speaker is still the son. I can read the whole passage if you want me to. The son says, and now, O father, so he's not addressing himself in prayer. He's addressing somebody other than himself. He's addressing the Father. And now, O Father, glorify me, that's the Son, together with yourself, with the glory which I, that's the Son, had with you. Para is alongside in Greek, before the world was. So before the creation of the universe, which the Father created through the Son, by the way, the Son had glory, the divine glory, which only Yahweh has, Isaiah 42.8, the Son existed together with the Father in eternity. That contradicts your claim that the Son was created in Mary's womb. Yeah, that is right, brother. Uh, it's not only that verse who said that the glorify the Son, glorify uh, the Son, but also in, in uh, verse 6, you can read also that... Uh, uh, the, 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 the verse 6, it says, I have manifested thy name and to the man, and to the man which thou gavest me out of the world, thine, uh, I'm sorry, but I couldn't hear, I couldn't mm -hmm. uh, read uh, my Bible because I'm, uh, okay, where's that? And thou gavest them man and they might be, okay, I hear. You see, you're teaching a created son, but the Bible says yes. that the son has two natures, which you deny. The son is deity, eternal, uncreated deity, who existed together with the Father and Holy Spirit, which you deny. Okay. The son uh, also has a human nature, which was, which was created in Mary's womb, which we both agree on. 
But yeah. the sun here yeah, is a reference to the deity said, of the sun. That, that, that statement that you said, the, the statement that you said, that to glorify the sun, it is in the whole verse here. You, if you have noticed that the sun, uh, he said that glorified himself. Because brother, I'm sorry, uh, I'm almost asleep. I'm not. Uh, my mind is not uh, working anymore. <laughs> One moment. <clears throat> yes, of course. I can always speak some other time if you want to. That would be fine. But yeah, what concerns me is that your belief is similar to Jehovah's Witnesses, Unitarians, Iglesia Ni Cristo, Sun John G, in that you believe that the Father is the deity. And the sun is something less than deity. You don't believe exactly the same as these other groups, okay, but your but beliefs uh, are but similar. The Bible doesn't. Uh, the, the, the Bible doesn't say that the, the sun, that the sun has the deity, but the sun, the the, 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 the deity is in the sun. God was in Christ. That right. is in first, so, second. Uh, yeah. Colossians two nine yeah. is the verse you're you're thinking of Colossians. that the deity is no, in the sun. It is in Second Corinthians chapter five verse nineteen, to wit that God was in Christ. Yes, where is God? Trinitarians God believe that the Christ. Father is. Trinitarians believe the Father is in the Son, and the Son is in the Father. It's called peri peri. Yes, we don't deny that. that we right. we we believe that, but for you. The fact that the Father is in the Son is the basis of your calling Jesus God, which is ridiculous. I have I have Father indwelling me. That doesn't make me God. That doesn't make me Jesus because I've got God living inside of me. Pardon? Just because I have God living inside my body doesn't make me God. Mm -hmm. And, G no. and the fact that Jesus has the Father inside of him doesn't make Jesus God. Jesus is God because he eternally shares his Father's nature, which you deny. You're claiming that the Son came into existence, the Sonship. No, of the brother, this is the... Jesus. Okay, no, I'm not asking about you about John Jesus. Jesus. Please, please do not tell me about Jesus. I'm asking about the Son. Okay, you mentioned about Jesus. No, I did you, not. You I'm telling you, I'm not talking about Jesus. I'm using the word Son. Please use the word Son. son. Don't use the word Jesus, okay. because in one's That's theology, fine. Jesus is the Father, Jesus is the Son, Jesus is the Holy Spirit. So oneness Pentecostals like you can say Jesus is God, Jesus is Yahweh, Jesus is eternal, Jesus is the Creator. But what you mean by that yeah. is that the father okay. part we of Jesus, that, the father part of okay. Jesus is God, the father part of Jesus is eternal, the father part of Jesus is greater, the father part of Jesus is Yahweh God. That's what you believe. Yeah. But you deny the divinity of the Son of God. You teach a created son no. who lacks we divine that. attributes. Okay, brother. There is no the son, the, the, the divine is in the son. The divinity I, is for in the, the fourth son. time, I believe that the Father is in the Son, okay. the Son okay. is in the Father, the Holy okay. Spirit is in the Father, the, the the Father is in the Holy Spirit, the Son's in the Holy Spirit, the Son's in the Father, the Father's in the Son, the Holy Spirit's in the Son. It's called perichoresis. Trinitarians believe this. My problem is that you deny okay. the divinity of the Son of God because you teach a created Son. You believe the Son was created in Mary's womb just over two thousand years so ago. You, you, you believe that's when that, the Son uh, had. Yeah. Denying. You believe that that's okay, when the sun mean, had his beginning. Okay, you mean that we are denying the divinity of the sun? Yes, you believe the sun is, is a created being created in Mary's womb 2,000 years ago. That's what the Bible said. But in, Okay, is there any term in the Bible, is there any word in the Bible... That the Son is God. Yes. Do you have that yes. in the Bible? Yes. That it says that the Son is God? I've said yes twice. Uh, I have the Bible. I have the term in the Bible that the Son, th that God is in the Son. Yeah, but you can forget really about that because that, I agree with you in God, that. Yes. What you are denying is that the Son is Himself God. Now I've said three times the Son is God, and the Bible says that. Do you want me to show you that? 
Okay, where is in the Bible that the say, that it says the Son is God? Right, John John twenty twenty eight to thirty one. I'll, read, 20, 20, I'll read from verse 27. <coughs> Sorry, I was eating my um, supper down quite quickly. And it, went, it went down the wrong way, I'm afraid. So Jesus is speaking to Doubting Thomas. And Doubting mm. Thomas has just said he doesn't believe Jesus is resurrected from the dead. Then, okay. then Jesus mm -hmm. appears before Thomas. So John 20, okay. 27. Then he said to Thomas... Reach your finger here and look at my hands and reach your hand here and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. Now, here's the verse 28. That just gives the context. So verse 28. And Thomas answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. Now, that's a quotation. Could I? Could, would you, would you allow me to make my point? Yeah. Would you allow me, please, to read okay. from verse 28 to 31 and make my point and then you can respond afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Um, in verse 20, 28, Thomas is quoting Psalm 35, 23, where Yahweh uh -huh. is my Lord and my God. The word Yahweh is used in the previous verse, verse 22, and it's uh -huh. used in the next verse, if my memory serves me right, Psalm 35, 24. So the speaker who says my Lord and my God is Yahweh. And yeah. the Hebrew reads differently from the Greek because the Greek Septuagint changes the order. I think in the Hebrew it's um, my God and my Lord, and that's changed to my Lord and my God in the Greek Septuagint. The New Testament always uh -huh. quotes the Greek Septuagint, never, never, never the Hebrew. Yeah. So yeah. the one who's being addressed is my Lord and my God, and that's a reference to Yahweh. OK, and you can check that oh, out by going to Psalm. Address. Could you allow me to make my point, please? That, you can read that, uh -huh. uh, uh, you can check it out by going to Psalm 35, 23. Verse 29, Jesus answered and said to him, so it says Jesus. Okay, let's find out whether this Jesus okay. is the Father or the Son, who is my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, okay. because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. And truly, Jesus, so it still says Jesus, did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ. Now read this, the son of God. And that believing you may have life in his name. So in verse 31, it says son of God. So the one who is my Lord and my God, which is a direct quotation of Psalm 35, 23, where Yahweh, Y-H-W-H, the uh -huh. tetragrammaton, is my Lord and my God is identified as the Son of God in John 20, 31. Thank you. John 30, 31. Okay, yeah. Okay, um, in, in this verse, the question is to whom uh, Thomas addressed when he say, the Lord and my God. Yes, the Son of God. Because he, he, the one who has identified as the one who Thomas says, my Lord and my God to, in verse 28, is identified in verse 31 as the Son of God. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. So the one who's called my Lord and my God in verse 28 is the Son of God in verse 31. But Jehovah's Witnesses, Unitarians, Christadelphians, Iglesiani Christu, Sun John G, and all Oneness Pentecostals, including you, sir, deny that. They deny the divinity of no, the Son, and they teach okay. that the Son is a created being who is not eternal, but who came into existence and was created by the Father and came into existence at a point in time. And okay, you've said brother. that, you've we, said that twice in your conversation to me already. Okay, we are talking about the term Son of God. We are talking about the Son of God. Okay, we are not denying that thy deity is in the Son. That's not my question. I'm not. It doesn't say th that the deity is in the uh, Son of God. It says that the Son is Himself. Ho curios mu, ho theos mu. Kai ho, ko, kai ho theos mu. That the Son of verse thirty-one, the Son of God, is my Lord and my God in verse twenty-eight. 
It's not saying that, yeah, that, that the son is a man in whom the deity indwells, just like the deity indwells millions of Christians around the world today. It's saying that the son of God is himself Yahweh of the Old I, Testament. I think, I think you and are you not, deny you are that. Brother. And you, oh, brother, I think you are, um, brother, remember, I, I think you are mistaken that you are accusing the Pentecostal, the UPCI, <coughs> that we are denying, we are denying that he is, that uh, the Son of God is, is pertaining only to the flesh, or we are denying the deity. I think that is not the way. Hold on, you, you know said why? you, you said earlier you weren't UPCI, but now are you saying mm -hmm. you are UPCI? UPCI, UPC. UPC, United Pentecostal. United Pentecostal Church International. I thought you said you weren't United Pentecostal Church International. Are you United Pentecostal no, no, no. Church? No, 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 no. I'm not United Pentecostal Church International because you're mentioning, mentioning uh, UPC, uh, United Pentecostal. What so is the name is of United your church? What is the name of your church? I, my name is the Apostolic Apostolic Church. Um, David Bernard, in his book, The Oneness of God, page 105. Um, I'm Actually, just... David Ber Bernard, he didn't deny that the son, that the son, uh, that the son is not, is only, uh, David Bernard, he didn't deny that uh, the son of God is, uh, is not pertaining to the diet, uh, what they call that, uh, when we say son of God, it is pertaining to the deity. No, no, it doesn't. Uh, David Bernard denies the divinity no. of the son of God. There is, brother. Let me read his book to you. Let me read David K. Bernard's book, The Oneness of God, to you, page 105. The son was begotten on a Pacific day in time. There was a time when uh. the son did not exist. God prophesied about the son's future existence, brackets will be. And God brought the Son into the world sometime after the creation of the angels. So he says, in a similar manner to Arius in the 4th century, Bernard says, quote, there was a time when the Son, when the son did not exist. So he's teaching a created Son. Oh, um, maybe Bernard, I think they just only, you are just only reading part. Well, I can't read the, the whole. I can't read the whole book to you, mate. I've I've proven from David K. Bernard's most famous book, The Oneness of God, that he teaches that there was a time when the Son of God did not exist. So therefore, if the Son didn't exist and he exists now, Bernard teaches a created Son, who came into existence at a point yeah. in time. Okay. Okay. Th yes, because the Son has the beginning. Where? When was the Son? Was was created when was the sun was started the sun when has Mary was born right so because you... what you are pointing out well, what you are pointing out that the sun was exist before the foundation of the world yes that is true he was exist that physical in physical uh, matter but he was exist in the mind of god so you believe that the sun existed in the mind of god <laughs> yes eternal the Bible says but everyone existed 1 1, in the mind of God. Read, I existed in God's mind. God is God is omniscient. He knows all things. God know that God knew that you would one day exist, that I would one day exist. That doesn't. And so we existed in the mind of God from all eternity. It doesn't make me deity. It doesn't make you deity. Bernard on the previous page, page 104, David K. Bernard, Oneness of God, page 104. The chapter heading is the, or the section heading is the beginning of the sun. And Bernard writes, the sonship dash or role of the sun dash began with the child conceived in the womb of Mary. So the Thank sonship had a beginning to, according to Bernard, in Mary's womb just over 2000 years ago. He's teaching a created son, mm. just like Jehovah's Witnesses, mm. Unitarians, Christadelphians, Iglesian e Christus, mm. Sun John G., Okay, it's not the same, but Bernard is teaching something similar. He's teaching that the Father is the deity and the Son is a created being who lacks divine attributes, okay. which is what these other groups also if teach. The of the David K. Bernard, if you had you the book of the David K. Bernard in, nine, in 127, 
Um, well, I'm actually working from so. scans. I'm actually working from scans, so I don't have the actual physical book in front of me. I okay. can go and get it in, if you can hold in, on a second. Can you hold on okay, a second? Okay, in 127. Just, in well, 127. I've, I've just spoken to you. Can you give me a, a minute to go and get it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in 127, you can read. Uh, if you can, if you have, if you can scan it. Um the term the sun so david came and he could also explain there that the son of god is refers to god as manifested in the flesh man man you have a problem man you have a serious problem i said to you i don't have the book with me can i go and get it so i went to uh, so i went to go and get the book which i've now got in front of me and I heard you talking okay. on the phone. Now, what's the point in talking on the phone when I'm not by the phone? You don't listen. You don't listen to anything that's said. It, it's a real, real problem. Um, I'm listening to your brother. I told you just open your book and uh, go to 127 of the book of David got it. K. Bernard. Got it. And you're going to go to the middle chapter, the middle section, which is headed the sun. And it says, the deity in the Son is the Father. Although we do not believe the Father is the Son, we do believe that the Father is in the Son. John 14.10. Oh, yeah, you know, I have a problem about that. I, have prob I don't have a problem about what we are talking about. But uh, you are insisting that we are denying that the, that the, that the, the Son of God has the deity. Or yes, the, di the deity absolutely. of the Son of God. Absolutely. What you're okay. teaching is called subordinationism. You to, if you have the book of David K. Bernard, just go to 127. What do you mean? No, you don't listen, man. You are so... You don't listen. I've just read the book. And you're telling me to go to the book and read the book. When I've just read the book, you don't listen. You need to listen to people and maybe do a little less preaching. Don't you think, when I, I, I told you I've got the book in front of me, I've read from the book, and yet you, you know, it's, it's so obtuse when you tell me to go to the book and read the book, when I've just read it. it it's frustrating, you know? because you're not listening. Uh, okay, what I'm asking, brother, is, did you read already of the, you said that you had to read the book, of the whole book of uh, David K. Bernard. Right. I have the book in front of me. Let me read it again to you. Okay. Page 127. The section heading is the son. The deity in the son is the father. Or do we, although we do not believe the father is the son. We do believe that the father is in the son. John 14, 10. Since okay. Jesus is the name of the son of God, both as to his deity as the father and as to his humanity as the son is the name of both the Father and the Son. So Bernard is saying that the Father is the deity of Jesus and the Son is the humanity of Jesus. He's a subordinationist. Subordinationists believe that because there's only one God, only the Father can be that one God, and the Son is something less than deity, a created being who came into existence at a point in time and to various degrees lacks divine attributes. Oneness Pentecostals teach this, Jehovah's Witnesses teach this, Unitarians teach this, Christadelphians teach this, St. John G. teaches this. Because you're only brother in, in, uh, in oneness, okay, you just only uh, explaining one part of it. I That's can't. Only I, I cannot read the whole book. I can only read one section of the book at a time. And page one hundred and twenty-eight is saying that the Son is not God. Page one hundred and sorry, one hundred and twenty-seven is saying that the Father, who is in the Son, is the deity, and the Son okay. is the flesh. Now, this is similar. It's not the same, but it's similar to an ancient heresy known as adoptionism. The ancient adoptionists okay. believe that there's... I, I, could I, could I, I explain what adoptionism is? Can I explain what adoptionists... Okay. The early adoptionists... Okay, I... The early adoptionists taught that Jesus was born a man. And most of them said at his baptism, when the Holy Spirit um, overshadowed him, 
God then came to indwell his body and the son became God at his baptism. So he was adopted into the Godhead at his baptism. Now, Bernard is not teaching that, but he's teaching something similar to that. He's saying the son is a created being. But he's saying that the, when the son has the father inside of him, the son is God, which is poppycock, because millions of Christians around the world have God inside of them. And that doesn't mean that they are God. I've got God inside of my body, but it doesn't make me Yahweh God who needs to be worshipped. I'm just a man who happens to have God inside of him. Now, Bernard clearly is stating on page 127 the deity in the Son is the Father. So Bernard is saying okay. that the Father is the deity. And he's denying I, oh, earlier I, on that the Son is deity. Brother, he's saying the I, Son is the flesh. I, okay, brother, can I quote what David K. Bernard said in 127? Yep. Okay. Basically, the form of uh, the term Son of God refers to God as manifested in the flesh. Where are you reading in from? In the person of Jesus Christ. Where are you reading that is from? 127. I don't see that there. Where, where, where are you reading from in page 127? Is it the section the Holy Ghost, the section the Hun, the Son, or the previous section the, the Father? The Son. Pardon? The section the, the Son. Could you read it again? Because I, I don't I don't read that. Let me just find it. Okay. Where are you reading from? Which uh, line down are you reading? Uh, second, the the uh, for, um, uh, the middle of this. Uh, no, no, no. Be precise. No, uh, page one hundred and twenty-seven. The section is the sun. Give me the exact line, and I'll count down, so I can. Be, yeah, the sun. The sun. Yeah, yeah. Which which line? Be be precise. First line, brother. First line, okay. It says there, we say, uh, basically, the term Son of God refers to the Son, uh, to God, as manifested in the flesh, in the person of Jesus Christ, for the salvation of humanity. The name uh, of the Son my, is My Jesus. version says mankind, for the salvation of mankind. Does yours say oh, mankind? I think that's different, brother. Is that one oneness of God, the oneness of God? This is the oneness of God. It's the 1987 uh, printing. It's an old edition, maybe. Maybe uh, it's been changed. Seven. Mine says, basically, the term Son of God refers to God as manifested in the flesh in the person of Jesus Christ for the salvation of mankind. Is that how your book reads? Yes. Yeah. So it actually says for the ma salvation of mankind, does it? Yeah. Then ho hold on. Then why did you misread the book and say humanity? <laughs> You're making stuff up. <laughs> you, you're not reading. You weren't reading the book. You were just paraphrasing the book and making it up as you went no. along. Um, no, I'm just reading the book, but brother. Start again. Read every 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 word because I'm going to follow with you. Okay. Okay. Basically, the term the son the terms son of God refers to God as manifested in the flesh in the person of Jesus Christ for the salvation of humanity. Okay, the name that's, that's a change. Of the son. That's that's a change. It the, says the, mankind in my version. Yeah. Okay. The name. The name of the Son of God, uh, the Son, is Jesus. And she shall bring forth the Son, and shall call his name Jesus. Since the Father refers to the deity alone, while Son of God refers to the deity as incarnated in humanity. We do not believe that the Father is the Son. The distinct is provital. We can say the Son died. But we cannot say the Father died. The deity in the Son is the Father, although we do not believe that the Father is the Son. We do believe that the Father is in the Son, John 14, 10, since Jesus is the name of the Son of God, both to his deity as Father 
and as his humanity as son. It is the name of both the Father and the Son. When we say Jesus Christ, he has both the deity and the humanity. That's why we did we didn't uh, we didn't um, uh, uh, neglect or we didn't uh, we we didn't set aside the the deity of Jesus Christ. What we are talking about the term the term okay the term when we talk about the Son it is it is refers to the humanity. But when we talk uh, about uh, the Father, it is refers to the deity. So but you when we talk about Jesus Christ, you we have both humanity and the deity. You said the Father refers to the deity, and you said the Son refers to the humanity. Yeah. Right. It's all in Jesus. Right. So you it's believe that. So you believe the Son is the humanity of Jesus, the human part of Jesus. In other words, the Son, as the Son, lacks divine attributes. The Son is not eternal. The Son is created. The Son is not omnipotent. Yeah. Yes. Well, then you're a subordinationist. You can't be a real Christian because, in order to be a real Christian, you have to affirm the di divinity of the Son. You have to honour the Son just as you honour the Father. John five twenty three. Uh, let me read brother, it. John John uh, oh, five twenty three. That all should honour the Son just as they honour the Father. He who does not honour the Son does not honour the Father who sent him. You exactly. We honour the Father. Yes. Through Jesus Christ. You haven't listened to the verse that all should honour the Son just as they honour the Father. You don't. You believe the Father's the deity and the Son is the humanity. Just like, Brother. not quite the same, but Brother. similar to Jehovah's Witnesses, Unitarians, Christadelphians, Sun John G, and a host of other cults. Brother. I will cut you for that. We honor the Son and we honor the Father through Jesus Christ. How could you honor the Father in, Jesus, in, in the Son? You honor the Father as deity. And you honour the Son as less than deity, which is what Jehovah's Witnesses, Christadelphians, Sin John G, and Iglesia Ni Christu we do. We honour the deity in the Son. We, you cannot, no, you no, cannot, because, uh, no, no, because you believe the Son is a created being. You deny the divinity of the Son of God, so you can't be a Christian. The Bible says you'll die in your sins if you deny the divinity of the Son. Brother. John, John 8.24 we cannot deny that the Bible, the Bible said that the, the, the Son was created being. That's why the Bible said that he has the beginning. We need to, we need to understand that the Son was born by Mary. Yes, Trinitarians <laughs> believe the Son has two natures. The Son is eternal deity. Oh. Let me just explain my position. The, the, the Son is eternal deity. The Son also has a human nature that he took on just over 2,000 years ago when um, the humanity, the flesh, but also human soul or spirit, um, okay. was, okay, was, my, was my born. The oneness, the oneness Pentecostal position is similar, and it's, it, it confuses okay, a lot of... Can I please yeah. finish? It confuses a lot of Trinitarian yeah, yeah. people. But the oneness position sounds similar, because you will say Jesus is God, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is eternal, Jesus is Yahweh, and it sounds so biblical until you understand that the Jesus you're affirming as God, eternal deity, creator, is the Father. Okay, oneness says your, your... oneness says that Jesus has two natures. The Father is the divine nature of Jesus. The Son is the human nature of Jesus. Trinitarians say that Jesus is the Son of God, and the Son has two natures. The Son is eternal in his deity as the Son, and the Son is created in his flesh as the Son. Okay. You're, you're, you're saying that the, di, di, that the deity is eternal, is in the Son. I am right. I'm saying that deity, the Son is deity. I'm not... You the keep saying, is, you keep saying deity is in the Son. I'm saying the Son yes, is deity. Yes, that's what the Bible said. Yes, and I believe, I believe that the Father is in the Son. I don't deny that. But you're oh. denying that the Son is himself <laughs> deity. 
And the Bible says in John 8, 24, that you'll die in your sins. Because the speaker there is the son. And he's referring to the burning bush passage where Moses saw Yahweh God. And he said, what's your name? And God answered and said, I am that I am. Ego and me ho on in the Septuagint. And that's quoted here in a shortened form in John 8, 24. Therefore, I said to you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, the word he is in italics, it's not in I Greek am. text, you will die okay. in your sins. I am. Pardon? I am. Sorry, say that Who again. Who speak? The speaker, is, the speaker is the son of man, because if you go down to verse 28, Jesus we said to, to them, when you better. lift up, this, when we you lift up, the, can I finish, can I please understand. make my point? The speaker is the son of okay. man. The speaker is not the father. In John 8, 28, then Jesus said to them, when you lift up the son of man, then you will know that I am. So the speaker in John eight twenty four is the son of man, not the father. We have to understand that the Son, the Father, is in the Son. I do. I don't deny that. I believe the Father is in the Son, but that's irrelevant. You deny the divinity of the Son of God. You teach that the Son is just the human nature of of Jesus. To whom that word, to whom that word or term Son was was uh, referring to? It is referring to the Spirit. Because you said that the son was represented, it's also the deity. I did not. When was the? I did. I okay. did. I did not. Oh, you need to listen to me. When was you... the? When was I didn't the, say the that. son was born? I, you didn't. When you didn't the... listen to me. You need to listen. I said the son has two natures. The son is eternal deity that shares his father's nature which is eternal spirit ah, and is uncreated. Okay. Now, and I, then I, I also said. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm just giving you the okay. standard Trinitarian position. And then I, then I also okay. said that the Son has a human nature, and that human nature was created 2,000 years ago in Mary's womb. So the Son has two natures. Okay. Now, you believe the deity of the Son is the Father, and the humanity of Son is the flesh. But you believe when the Father gets inside the body of the Son, you can call Jesus God. And you can't because Our, Christians today around the uh, world have God inside their bodies. Brother, brother, what we believe is Jesus Christ has the dual nature. Yes, and I know that. I know that. And I'm a Trinitarian and I believe that the Son has a dual nature. You deny that. You believe that Jesus has a dual nature. The Father is the deity of Jesus and the Son is the humanity of Jesus. So you're denying the divinity of the Son of God. And John 8, 24 says you'll die in your sins. Therefore, I said to you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. Brother, we need to understand. You're speaking about the Son. What kind of Son? Jesus is not only a Son. He is also a Son of God and He is also a Son of Man. We need to remember that Jesus is also a Son of Man. He is a Son of God and He is a Son of Man. I read that in verse 28. The, the, the speaker in Who John 8, the, the speaker in John 8, 24, ident identifies himself as the son of man in John 8, 28, four verses later. Verse 28, then Jesus said to them, when you lift up the son of man, then you will know that I am. He's in italics, not in the Greek text. That's John 8, 28. The speaker in John 8, 24 cannot be the father. It cannot be the father speaking and saying, therefore, I said to you that you would die in your sins. For if you do not believe I am, you would die in your sins. It cannot be the father speaking. It is the son. For the, for firstly, because so of verse... You are, believing, brother, you are believing that the son is the father? No. That's what you are... What no, you are I'm trying, not. That's the modalist. That's the mod that's the modalist. That's what some modalists team. I'm a Trinitarian. So I don't believe the son is the father. To, I believe they're eternally distinct persons. To. Pardon? Brother, my question is what you're implying to when we say I am. It is pertaining to God the Son or 
it is pertaining to the Father. In this particular context, John 8, 24, it replies to the Son of God, not to God the Father, because the speaker is the Son of God. Uh, there are other verses, other contexts where uh, I am can refer to the Father, but not here. And I can prove that because in John um, 5, 37, we read that no one has heard the Father's voice and no one has seen the Father's form. I'll read it. John 5. So we th- let me, please let me make my point. Me. No, please let me make my point. John 5, 37. Uh-huh. And the Father himself who sent me has testified of me. You have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his form. Uh-huh. So no one has heard the Father's voice. No one has seen the Father's form. Jesus uh-huh. speaks in John eight twenty four, and says, Therefore Jesus. I said to you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. The speaker there who says he's the I am cannot be the father. It must be the son. Firstly, because he identifies himself as the son of man in verse 28. But secondly, because in John 5, 37, nobody has heard the father's voice and nobody has seen the father's form. So the speaker oh, cannot yeah, be God the father. Not, that's not in your word, coming from the Bible. So the, my question is, there are two. If Jesus, if God, or if the Father said that I am, and the Son also called, uh, said that I am, so you, we have that, we have two I am. No. We have two great I am. No, no, because Father, the Son. I am, which is the Son. Would, would you, would you like I me am, to explain the, the Trinity? Would you like me to explain the Trinity to you? Would you like me to okay, explain brother, the Trinity to you? Or, or, or not? Because okay, brother, if you're not going to listen, then I'm, I'm not going to bother. Time, I, I, have, okay. I have an office Yes, of, 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 of course. Maybe we can, we can some some maybe other time. I am yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, <laughs> Cer- certainly, sir. Yeah, I, am, I, am no on the, I am on the UK time zone. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. What time, what time is it now in your place, bro? It's six, just gone 6.30. Uh, in the afternoon? Yes, not the morning, because we're behind uh, you. Which oh, kind? Yeah, of... it's uh, one one a.m. already. <laughs> and what will it be? One thirty-eight, actually. Um, you, yeah, which country did you say you're in? I am in the Philippines right the now. Philippines. Okay. Well, look, sir. If you call me when it's convenient for you, um, we can oh, yeah, talk. I, a, we I'm can talk again. And, uh, I'm I'm enjoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm, if we, I'm not in the mood already if we, because uh, I'm really tired. Yeah, for, I we'll, have a long day. we'll finish. We'll finish. But if we talk again, please let's do one single, narrowly defined topic with no deviation. I would be yeah, very that's interested. What I, also, I want. Uh, I, I want. I want also to be. Um, uh, we need to discuss uh, a specific um, term or, you know, uh, yeah, something like that. Um, I'm, I'm also so interested. To... I'm also interested in yeah. tithing. <laughs> I don't believe that tithing is for Christians. Do you believe in tithing? Oh, tithing, brother, is... Uh, in the Bible, in the New Testament, was not mentioned uh, tithing anymore. It's only in the Israel uh, during the time of Israel. Do you, you believe? Know? Do you so, believe tithing is for New Covenant Christians? I I don't have I don't I didn't believe on that. You didn't what? What do you say, brother? Pardon? Do you do you believe Christians should pay a tithe today? Yes or no? Oh, uh, Christians should pay tithes today. Uh, the church in the church or in the church in the Bible wasn't uh, was not. I don't uh, want to discuss it with you now because you said you're tired and you have to go. I just want to know: Do you practice tithing in your church? Do you believe Christians are under some tithe command in your church today in 2024? Yes or no? If it's no, then we won't no. discuss this. Pardon? No. No, then we, no. we won't discuss that. OK, we'll choose some other topic, please. And let's stick to one topic, not not jump from topic to topic. Would that yeah, be yeah, agreeable? Also 
Pardon? It must be topical, brother. It, but, yeah. Would you like to question me on why I believe in the Trinity? Um, yeah, I, that's my question on why you are believing Trinity because a lot of the, a lot of things that they need to explain when it comes to Trinity. I'm coming from Trinity also. I was I was born Trinity. Um, the first thing to do would be to define what is the Trinity. You can't discuss the yeah, Trinity you have... if you don't know what it is. So the first thing for me to do would be to define accurately and succinctly what the Trinitarian position is. So maybe we can do that the next time. Yeah, yeah we, we, we will. OK. Yeah, we can. Well, well, thank, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you so much, Robert. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.